This is a case of an individual um, who was apparently hit while crossing Cedar Bluff Road back in 1993. Um, he was unidentified and the practice at the time was to have those remains come to our facility for curation and perhaps identification. Um, he did receive some treatment at that local hospital and then did, died in the meantime, so then we received his remains. Upon um, recovery of the skeletal remains after decomposition at our facility, we discovered lots of other trauma um, that had, was in the process of healing. This shows evidence of previous, um, most likely, being hit by an automobile. Um, we see this kind of trauma, leg trauma on the tibia. Um, is not uncommon. That's where we see it being hit by cars, pedestrian, motor vehicle accidents. Um, so this individual has this orthopedic rod um, inserted into the bone to help stabilize those fractures. Um, and once it was cleaned up, we could see that there is a number on this proximal end. Um, and sometimes these numbers may indicate um, identification of an individual, um, but many times they also just indicate a part number. And in this particular case, that's what we see. It's most likely describing the part. There's a dimensions of this rod included in this number. I have 55 cases in NamUs. Some of those, three or four of those, do not belong to me per se. They are from the Nashville or Memphis area. Um, so we have, but this dates back from 1971 to today. So there's a lot of cases.